ओके गाइस इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द रैक स्टेटस लाइक रैक इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस मोस्टली दे विल आस्क यू द रैक स्टार्टअप सीक्वेंस कैन यू टेल मी रैक स्टार्टअप सीक्वेंस ओके वी कैन क्विकली गो अहेड एंड डू दिस आई मीन हाउ द रैक स्टार्टअप विल स्टार्ट when you initiate the crs ctl command start crs what it does is it is going to read one of the init file in os level now those files are not there but only one thing is wo hsd daemon or wo hsd file it will start the couple of services these four services cssd monitor cluster service daemon monitor cluster service daemon agent these two services for cluster synchronization purpose and also this cluster service daemon agent will start the cluster service I mean cluster synchronization service daemon it will start clear now ohsd daemon will start another two agents those are ora agent oracle agent oracle root agent these two services will start bunch of other services this ora agent will start asm related libraries related informations dns domain name service related gpid inter ip that is interconnect uh, internet protocol grid internet protocol service event manager daemon service grid plug and play service these services it is going to start here we need to see the level 2 these services are very important this will start the crsd cluster ready service daemon this is the main service and cluster time synchronization daemon diskmon diskmon will help in exa data not in our normal database servers this will uh, ctssd time synchronization if you have a two node rack this is in asia time or us time or dubai time both nodes should run in the same time 931 here it is time should be 931 ist if it is different time zone the cssd will pitch in and it will try to make the time uh, time is sync in between these nodes crsd cluster ready service daemon it's a main daemon in our rack startup sequence and this daemon will start another two services in level 3 those are ora root agent crsd related ora root agent this is ohs3 oracle high availability service root agent this is crsd root agent this will start all these network services your network resource scan ip node vip scan vip uh, asm cluster file system registries global naming of vips global global no mean gns global naming server vips these network services it will be start and this ora agent crsd ora agent starts your asm instance disk groups ons messaging services services listener local listeners scan listeners db resources everything is going to start this is the startup sequence and one more thing you can re remember crsd daemon is started start startup process initiated in level 2 but it will not start now in this level after finishing all the services level 4 if all services came up finally this crsd daemon will come up last at last it is going to start up if it is up and running means your cluster service is up and running fine if it is not running means there are some issue in your cluster that is only one thing we need to answer in this way okay next question next question is catch a fusion in interviews most commonly interviews people are asking what is catch a fusion okay let me take that question let me increase the font 20 catch a fusion what is catch a fusion node eviction these are all the common questions in interviews we used to get it and what is the vi not the vip i can say i can say voting this voting disks ocr files split split brain syndrome and they will ask so many things right public u b l i c try wait vip scan ip differences also they will ask this thing we can discuss later on this part but as of now we can go and see mostly 
these three questions very very frequently asked questions okay what is mean by the catch a fusion let me explain catch a fusion is nothing but the data moment um, the data block move from one instance to another suppose i have three node database three nodes three node database one of the node is failed from the cluster it's evicted from the cluster i'll tell you that node eviction also this is evicted from the cluster before evicting there are some connections 10 connections is there on this node they are doing some transactions they have some insert updates or some select queries other things dml operations and ddl select operations whatever the information is there into in your data i mean sga we have database buffer catcher right that database buffer catcher we have used blocks that used blocks the data block is transferred from this failed node to availability node this node or this node any one of that node this activity we call it as a catch a fusion how it will happen through the interconnect interconnect will happen with the private ip okay later we can discuss about this clearly so the data block transferred from the one node the failed node to a accessible node that activity we call it as a catch a fusion clear and the node eviction second question answer what is node eviction we have three nodes in our cluster. In a cluster, each node is communicating with each other through a private IP. Private IP. These will communicate each other. And all these nodes are present in the cluster. How we can identify these are present? Each and every node in the cluster is voting. Hey, a voting file, I am present. Node 3 is voted, node 2 is voted, node 1 is voted in the voting file. This voting disk take the uh, heartbeat of your cluster. Each node should be present. Their heartbeat means they should acknowledge this node to say, hey, I am present. I am present. As if. if one of the node is not attended or present into voting disk, it is not vote in a voting disk. Okay, what will happen? Remaining nodes thought, okay, node 3 is evicted from the node. It failed from the node. Okay, in that way, this voting file is crucial. It's a whole I minute, mean, it will uh, monitor your cluster heartbeat and also it will take the presence of your cluster services. If one of the node is not present, not uh, the beat is not noted into your voting disk, that is not voted into voting disk, remaining nodes feels this node 3 is evicted. Okay, the node 3 is evicted that called node eviction who will take care of this how this uh, we know like the node is evicted and all this crssd cluster synchronization service daemon will take care of this kind of information this will internally look all the cluster services in sync or not this daemon activity it is not sync cssd informed to the cluster service crsd and some of the service is not running so this will be evicted that is node eviction what is mean by the split brain, brain syndrome? Suppose I have here two nodes. Each node should present in voting disk. In voting disk, we are maintaining odd numbers. Voting disks, odd number we are going to maintain. Why we need to maintain odd number? I have three voting disks. Okay, voting files I have. This voting file, if one, one of the voting file is failed, it is not there. I have at two voting files at, at any cost. So voting files, at least we need to maintain 50% of the availability or votings, whatever it is going to present, this node is present, this node is present, this node attended. Out of 100%, we got 66% is vote. So these two nodes available, on these two nodes, OCR master will run. But in case of this node, OCR master, if suppose OCR master running on this node, this node, if it is failed, these two are present with the 66% as attendance in voting disks. Okay. In these two nodes, any one of that node becomes OCR master file holds it. How that is decided when you start the database, which node is started first? Suppose this is started first. That's where it is the OCR master node is there. Next it is started first. Then it is last the node is started. Service has started on this node. So this is evicted from the cluster. 
but my master node is running on this one until uh, the startup, I mean, service is going down. After this is down, OCR master shifted to the next started service, which is started next, this node. So my OCR master shifted to this node. And who will take care of this percentage? Where the my OCR file master, OCR master file needs to be there. This brain, split brain syndrome, will act as, uh, we cannot decide in this scenario, the brain has been split, which one is. Split brain syndrome will act as this node is evicted, but we cannot understand the definition of the split brain syndrome in this scenario. When we can understand is, if we have five nodes in a cluster, okay? At that time, these two nodes, interconnection is there but these nodes doesn't have the communication between these three nodes. These three nodes are having interconnection. These two are evicted from the cluster. Who will decide? Voting file. Voting disk will decide. These three presented in voting disks and these three is not uh, given uh, the voting file separately. So these three are the majority of the votings or heartbeat in your voting file. So your voting disk treated these three nodes present in the cluster. Here also these three services running, but the communication is not there in between these three nodes and these two nodes. These two act as separately, these three act as a separately. And OCR master running on these nodes. Here we don't have OCR master. So split Bain syndrome means this one. It is acting, the cluster services are running, but there is no communication between these three nodes and these two nodes but all together accessing single database. And we need to evict these two nodes based upon the voting. So split bane syndrome is nothing but that mean, evicting the node is a node eviction that is different scenario, but I want to explain the split bane uh, brain syndrome means this is the difference. Three nodes act as a single service and three nodes are voting present in our voting disk, but two nodes act as one service one cluster service. So our cluster has been divided into three and two, three is to two ratio. This will not work as per the rack configuration. We need high availability. This cluster should not act like this. So node eviction will happen and these two nodes are going to down automatically. These three nodes presents a high voting percentage. We elected as cluster service live on these three nodes. We, these three nodes, even though service is running, but the communication failed in between these three nodes and these two nodes. There is some network issue. There should be some VIP or private IPs issues. There is some glitches. At that time, these two are going to evict it. This will completely evict it. That we call it as a node eviction. But split bane syndrome is nothing but these three services act as a one cluster service and these three nodes act as a single service. That Incident, we call it as a split brain syndrome. That incident only. Okay, but we are not going to use in real time. Real time, we can say these two nodes are evicted from the cluster. Again, we need to restart. Once we restarted, those two also communicate with these three nodes. All together access as a single database. That five nodes, we call it as a five node rack. All nodes should be synchronized in between and all nodes should be present in your uh, in our voting disk, all nodes should vote. Yeah, hey, I am present, I am present, I am present. If two nodes individually saying I am present, I am present, and three nodes intercommunication is there, and two nodes, these two nodes intercommunication is there, but these two nodes doesn't have a communication in between these three nodes, then that is an issue. So these two nodes, whatever the majority is there, that majority will be present and those nodes will be act actively working but those are majority is less, less than 50% votes in your voting disk, these will be evicted. That is the node eviction. Okay, voting disks are useful for heartbeat checkup or to decide which nodes should be there, which nodes should evict it based upon the voting file, voting percentage. At any cost, this disk should have more than 50% voting. Then only it should hold the cluster services. Whichever it is less than 50%, those will be cluster is going to down completely. That's where if you want to maintain even number, why we need to maintain odd number means if anything goes wrong, we have two availability is there. If you maintain single data file, if voting file is 
deleted is lost. For high availability purpose, we are going to maintain the voting list. Okay. Okay. For clear cut information, we will discuss this more voting list can OCR files differences in later sessions. But as of now, I want to explain the startup sequence and catch a fusion, node eviction, split bean syndrome differences in RAC. Thank you.